design as a mode of thinking will be used to guide the development of the curriculum for SUTD students. The entering student, no matter what their interest, will begin their studies with the introduction of design as the foundation for learning. Combining technology and design helps students understand how and why these important subjects contribute towards creating good design and thus value for the community. The pedagogy of SUTD will be equally intent on promoting the learning of processes as it will be on the delivery of content. The curriculum of the Singapore University of Technology and Design will be both multidisciplinary and project oriented. Traditional teaching has been too often constrained by a fairly conservative notion of the separation between engineering and design field. Teaching students about the best kinds of architectural design requires that we use an approach that integrates design thinking with technology development and application. I believe students do their best when given the opportunity to stretch their goals. By exposing students to fields well beyond their traditional curriculum, we get them to think in different ways. We challenge them to break out of the box. As teachers, I believe we have the obligation to show that technology and knowledge are constantly evolving. The university's explicit effort to link traditionally separated modes of design is extremely important for architecture today. My colleagues and I have just helped a major oil company increase the expected value of a billion dollar investment in Angola by 78 percent. My classes are challenging but in a respectful organized way. I ask students to work outside of what they would expect to be the typical modes of learning. I'm also very engaged in thinking about teaching, not from the perspective of the teacher, but from the perspective of the person who's learning. Our students at the Singapore University of Technology and Design will feel challenged to work hard to be among the best. My students are sometimes surprised at how quickly I introduce them to the realities of the world of buildings. My students, indeed MIT students generally, often compare their education to drinking from a fire hose. That is, we deliver a lot of information very quickly. My firm's now produced several buildings that consume a fraction of the energy required of typical buildings, and I think it's really important to show students the process um, and the actual finished physical things. I have been developing the field of engineering systems analysis and design for over 40 years. My own personal specialty has been on airport systems plan and design, and I've been involved in projects on every continent except Antarctica. I expect to see the SUTD graduates assume leadership roles in which they will be expected to think beyond their chosen disciplines and to work with others in a cooperative and effective manner. The International Design Center that will be jointly located at the Singapore University of Technology and Design and at MIT expects to be a leader in the development of improved design processes. The work we do in Singapore has the enormous potential to affect the ways in which much of the rest of the world urbanizes in the near future. It must be acknowledged that the vast majority of new urban residents will be in cities of developing regions of the world. Is that the graduates of the Singapore University of Technology and Design will be creative young professionals confident in their abilities to take on the significant technological challenges they will face in their careers.